The moment that the parents of a child separate, everyone's life circumstances change immediately. There are usually newer living arrangements and custody and access schedule put in place. But as time passes, there may be other developments as well. For example, the parents may embark on new relationships with new partners or may change jobs. When this occurs, the potential impact on court-ordered support, custody, or specific access arrangements, and the effect on each parent's rights must be assessed and weighed. In cases where one parent's new relationship or job require a move to another city or province, the concern is even greater. This is because such scenarios give rise to the legal issue of whether the circumstances and preferences of the parents should be allowed to dictate the child's living circumstances, whether such moves should be allowed and by whom, and if so, what happens to the custody and access arrangements that are already in place. In law, this is known as a mobility issue. In Canada, courts generally recognize that the well-being of a child is fundamentally interrelated with the well-being of the custodial parent. Indeed, a 1996 Supreme Court of Canada ruling in a case called Gordon and Gertz established conclusively that judges must apply the best interest of the child test in making decisions about whether a parent should be allowed to relocate with a child, which in turn requires an individual fact-specific assessment. As the court put it, the focus is on the best interest of the child, not the interests and rights of the parents. Courts are required to make a full and sensitive inquiry. This means that they are obliged to take into consideration a vast array of factors, including the existing custody arrangement and the relationship between the child and the custodial parent, the existing access arrangement and the relationship between the child and the access parent, the views of the child, the custodial parent's reason for moving, and the disruption to the child of a change in custody, including contact with family and community members, and the possibility of having to change schools. It is worth pointing out that in making this assessment, there is no presumption in favor of either parent, whether the custodial parent or otherwise. An access parent who receives notice of the other parent's intent to relocate, a child or children, can apply to the court to challenge the proposed change in residence or seek a variation of the custody or access arrangements. When mobility issues arise, it is important to get experienced and competent legal advice to ensure that the best interests of all parties, particularly the children, are safeguarded. We hope you've found this video helpful. If you require further information about mobility issues and family law, please give us a call or visit our website.